All right, so today we are going to do some trimming of my tomato plants. So I've got, first I'm gonna look for diseased leaves. As you can see, this has some damage to it. They're kind of curled a little bit. So I'm gonna cut them off. And by the way, these are uh, really sharp. So you wanna definitely make sure you've got some really sharp scissors. And I've got this, this is a, a wipe. So if I'm moving from plant to plant, I'm gonna wipe them down. So this is another diseased, starting to get diseased. We'll go ahead and trim this one off as well. These bottom leaves kind of don't matter as much and encourage some growth upward. Oop. And then, so that one there. Let's come over here. And there's quite a few. Of course, we've got a lot of leaves in here. So, um, quite a few with this, uh, this kind of damage. This is, you know, the, um, I don't even know what they call them, but yeah. So we'll just keep wiping this down, making sure that we don't transfer anything uh, from plant to plant. All right, and then I've got, what else I'm gonna do is sometimes these will shed, uh, send off shoots at the bottom and we can just go ahead and cut those off. Um, let's go ahead and remove some of these leaves at the bottom. This is another shoot coming out. I think that's gonna to be too much for this plant, so we'll remove that as well. There we go. So that opens up the whole bottom here. Maybe we'll remove these two as well. And over here, we've got one that is, uh, diseased this one is diseased and they're all kind of touching each other so that's the issue it's kind of coming in and touching okay so you want to keep that nice and open all right so let's let's wipe this down as you can see this one just kind of comes off by pulling on it no big deal these little little ones um, let's actually remove that whole shoot and that's what I'm doing. I'm just coming in and I'm removing extra, extra leaves, um, any diseased leaves from it to keep it healthy. And it, you know, you start seeing disease when they're kind of touching each other and cross like this one. Um, it'll start happening more. Now up in here, you're gonna get a little bit more, or I'm getting a little more kind of touching because there's a, not a whole lot of room. So, all right, some more disease. But anytime we've got extra suckers, these are called suckers, I call them shoots, but they're suckers. You wanna remove them if they're this low. I mean, you could leave them, but it's not gonna produce anything. Those I tried and didn't produce, so we're just gonna take that off. Um, we've got here, couple so again we're opening this up and I'm no expert here guys this is just kind of what I've learned searching online honestly of what to do that one had some disease on it as you can see all right keep wiping this down make sure we're not transferring disease we're just opening up the entire bottom here to this plant. There's enough foliage on the top. So this is gonna allow a lot of airflow on underneath. It's gonna keep any leaves towards the bottom from getting splashed on. So there's not gonna be any leaves at the bottom. So they won't get splashed on. That's what causes disease. This has a couple shoots, uh, uh, suckers off the bottom. I guess we don't even need the scissors for that. For those little ones but this one has a some leaf curl same with this go ahead and get rid of those this one as well that one looks good all the rest kind of look pretty good um, in there there's one it's harder to get these actually two leaves I'll come back and get those 
Now, what we're going to do with this, this is a different type. This is a, um, a determinant. These are indeterminates, okay? Indeterminates, more like vines. They grow really, really tall and need to be staked or need to be trellised at least. Um, you don't have to stake these. These are more of a bush variety, but I do just because we get some high winds here and I want to keep them from toppling over and they will in the high wind, but they generally grow as a bush, a little more compact and they produce all at once. They produce their food, produce the fruit, and then they stop um, continuing to grow once they start producing fruit. So you don't want to cut off. These are a little different. You don't want to cut off the uh, the suckers because you want them to produce as much. More suckers mean more um, more flowers. Now right now it's so hot that I've got a lot of flowers, but I'm not getting any production right now. No no. Um, no fruit is setting um, because it's just too hot for them, so they're not producing. Um, but, so instead of uh, cutting off the suckers, uh, I guess these little ones down here, you wanna remove because they're kinda too low to the ground. They're not gonna end up producing. You wanna keep them up higher, but um, most of the suckers you do not wanna remove from determinant style tomatoes, okay? Again, this is just what I learned online. I'm no professional here, but We'll just remove the bottom leaves though, anything that looks diseased. Wipe it down. All right. Generally, you're gonna start seeing the damage first down below. So that's why you move down below. Now, these are not determinant, they are indeterminate. So all these little suckers, going to remove definitely from below and I am going to keep a couple um, so this you can see split off I've got two now main stems because one was a sucker off this down below and so but I do have this let's see yeah this one's the sucker I'm going to remove that sucker so now I've only got two stems same thing here I've got Main stem, main stem, and this is a sucker. So we're just gonna remove that. Now, you are gonna be removing, when you remove those suckers, removing potential um, flowers and therefore fruit, but these can only handle so much fruit at one time. So if you overdo it, I think it can be a hindrance. Go ahead and remove some of these lower ones that look a little funky. Okay. All look good. Okay, so here's another sucker coming off that I'm just gonna remove because I only want two uh main stems i don't want multiple but you can see you would end up having coming through here more um uh, flowers so you are removing the possibility of more flowers but you're also making the plant a lot more healthy oh little spider hello little guy get rid of him all right, there's a sucker, and that's okay on this variety because this is the determinant. So we are going to keep all the suckers on this because I want to have as much fruit as possible. But we are removing any diseased leaves like those. All right. Go ahead and get those out and... There we go. Just that quick. Been filming for, let's see, 10 minutes. So it took me 10 minutes to remove all disease. You can come in and look a little closer for any of the more densely packed um, tomato bushes. But let's go ahead and remove that. It looks a little funky. 
yeah, if you want to just come in and, you know, look for anything more, you can do that. But generally, it should take you 10, 15 minutes. And I've got a lot of tomatoes here, so it doesn't take long at all. Now, you definitely want to, if you've got any of these, remove them from in here. Because if there's any disease, it's going to transfer over. Especially when it gets rained on and splashes up. So, any of those trimmings, if you dropped them, remove them. So, well, that's it, guys. Got the tomatoes uh, trimmed up. I do this about maybe uh, once every two weeks, once a week, somewhere around there, just when I see that they need it. Um, sometimes I'll let it go, like today. I think this has been two weeks since I trimmed last. And um, so, you know, if I start seeing that it needs it, I'll come in and, and do it um, periodically. But, you know, once every week, once every two weeks. But right now you can see there's, let's get down low and you can tell there's a lot more airflow underneath. You can see all under there, okay? And this also allows you to get in and remove some of this and put fertilizer if you have like sprinkle fertilizer rather than liquid. But it's definitely beneficial to remove all the stuff underneath like I did here. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.